Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes, and uh, I'm here to talk about three things, and um, hopefully I'll be able to cover it. The first thing I want to talk about is uh, building muscle, and making your body look the best that it can. Uh, um, one thing that I've come to realize is that, uh, um, for an example, um, you're able to use your mind, your mind energy, and your mind focus on specific parts of the body to make it eat, uh, much more, um, mo have much more definition and grow more larger. And one example of this is, is Manny Pacquiao's calves. His calves are really big. They're large. For someone that size, they're, uh, they're very big. You know, you would expect someone uh, a, few, a few inches more taller to have calves like that or a few, uh, a few pounds more heavier than him to have calves. If you haven't, Google it and he has huge calves. And he has to use FDA approved lotion to keep it moisturized. And um, when when I heard about this and I saw it, it got me thinking like, how is that possible? How is he able to get his calf so big while everybody else does the same exercises? They possibly eat more nutritious foods than he does or the same nutritious foods, athletes. How is he able to do that? And uh, I think the one reason is that he uses his mental energy and mental focus specifically on his calves while in the process of working out while he's running or do or pushing his legs you know lifting weights with his legs the thing where you lay in your back and you push the weights um, he's applying a lot of focus and emotional focus and his consciousness it is becoming his, his energy is focused all on his legs as he's working out during the process of his workouts running or anything he's applying his consciousness and his mental energy and focus on his calves and legs and when you do that you're you're letting your body know that you're working it out and that you want it to be the best that you can and that and that you're 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 giving your body um, you're, you're giving that specific area more blood flow more heat more thermal energy, more mental energy, more blood flow is flowing down there and the blood flow is probably has a greater velocity down there which allows more of uh, faster expansion of the bloods uh, bloods of the muscle cells to to expand and grow large within that area because you're applying more focus on the area. Now how is that possible? You know, um one one other example is um Trevor Trevor 7, Trevor 7. T R E B O R seven spelled out seven. Trevor seven. He's a guy that does telekinesis, and uh, he has uh, two um, websites: uh, www.howtotelekinesis.com and www.telekinesisschool.com. And both of those describe um, how to practice and prepare to do telekinesis. And what you do is that you focus your mental energy on a specific part, one part of your body. You sit down, you stay relaxed, you lay down or whatever, and you're quiet in the room, you quiet your mind, you relax your your heart rate goes down, and you focus on uh, maybe your tip of your pointing finger, the very tip, or your or your um, toe, your right or left toe, and you focus all your energy on that. You focus all your attention on that area. And then and within, a, within a few minutes, you start to feel the blood flow and the veins throbbing you start to feel the, the bristles of the of the covers of your bed when you move it it becomes very distinct and very specific and um, and and when you do that that's how you work on telekinesis is that you apply that same technique of preparation on your body first by focusing on one area whichever area you want the ear or lip or hand or toe to move objects, objects um, that are laying on the floor like a cell phone or something like that, things like dollars bounce on nails, you 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 detach yourself and you put all the focus on and you create empathy with the object. What you're doing for pre preparation is that you create uh, empathy with your with a specific part of your finger first before you create empathy with uh, an object that's external. Now uh, to go back with muscles, how that works with muscles is that you're 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 doing the same thing. You you 
while you while you're exercising whether if you want to build larger chest muscle or more defined um, uh, arm muscles and forearm muscles and more bigger abs you know bigger biceps and these wings right here you want to build more muscle while you're doing an exercise that's specific to that area you have to you have to put all your mental energy and attention onto that area you know but before you do that you want to practice first laying down and putting all your attention on the tip of the finger tip of the toe while everything else becomes numb only that area you're focused on becomes magnified and you feel the blood flow and you feel the the um the the pushing of the fabric on it or whatever you know becomes much more sensitive and what you want to do to build more muscle, bigger calves, or anything else, is that while you're doing, while you're running, you want to apply all your focus onto your legs. And if you want to have stronger calves, you put all your calves while you're running or doing the leg push things, uh, lifting weights with your legs. You apply your attention on your legs. You you apply all all of your attention and your mental energy on that leg, so that the energy goes down there, and so the blood flow is focused in that area while you're lifting. And when if you want to build bigger um, biceps and everything while you're lifting weights, you want to detach. You, you you want to put focus on the arm itself so that the arm almost becomes. You want to create empathy with the arm and detach everything from the body here and put all the focus and energy here while you're working out. You know all of your attention. All of it, all right here. Everything else becomes almost numb. Not numb like a heart attack or something. Not numb like sickly numb but that everything is focused here in a healthy, safe manner. And when you're focused and zoned out in that area, you're focusing, you could feel everything. You feel, it starts to, you feel the pump of your, the blood, the pumping of the blood flowing. You feel the, 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 the small bristles of the handle of the weight and, the, and the, the metal of the weight. You know, you feel it while you're doing it and you're lifting it and everything else becomes almost numb while it, all of your attention, boom, is on here. And that's what's going to make it more bigger and have more definition, you know. And that's the same, same thing as what, that's why Manny Pacquiao has ca large calves. Because he puts all his energy into his calves specifically while he's running. Everything else from the top is almost um, non-existent while he's running. Everything below has become the total focus while he's running. He's putting his emotional state, his en energy, his mental focus right on his legs while he's running and it's the same thing with telekinesis and what Trevor Seven says when you want to learn telekinesis you have to first learn to focus all your attention mental energy onto a specific part of your body so that you create empathy and that part becomes almost detached to the rest of your body and then when you get more perfected with that when you start to do that then you start to focus on inanimate objects that are from a distance and creating empathy and trying to connect with them, you know, so that you can move them with your mind, you know. And what you're doing is that you're when you're lifting weights, you're not saying anything. It's an emotional state that you you want to. It's an emotional. It's feelings. When you detach yourself and focus on certain areas, it's a feeling. You're putting all your emotional state, in, not thoughts or words, but feelings, energy. And when you detach it, objects from distances, you're putting your energy to that object you're putting your being you're putting more of your being here while you're pumping it so that it can grow and so that it can expand and the muscles grow at a faster rapid rate and not only do they grow faster but they become more defined it's specific that's why and it's creating empathy with self and all objects and one other thing is um uh, that's how you do telekinesis and to work out. That's specifically how to work out and have an awesome, bombastic body. You know, like Arnold Schwarzenegger or like John claude Van Damme or Bruce Lee. You want to focus for every exercise, legs, focus all your energy on legs. Then when you go to arms, focus all your energy and mental energy on arms. Then when you're doing abs, put all your energy on your abs in the middle of your torso. Put all that energy and focus. Detach everything else and make that part existent for that moment. That's the only relevant uh, s uh, situation at that moment, you know, so that it can be, so it can grow and become more defined. And uh, DMT drugs, 
you're able to experience DMT hallucinations without taking DMT, the drug. Whenever you stare at, like for example, DMT drug users, I'm pretty sure it's recorded, they don't close their eyes for minutes and half minutes and hours maybe. And what happens is that they start to see this glow around objects. But you can see glows around objects even without taking DMT. You know, just stare at something for like five minutes and you start to see this glow around your laptop or TV or stuffed dolls or whatever. You know, you can provoke your own DMT experience and spiritual awakening by just letting your intuition and spiritual, um, let yourself space out, let your mind go, you know. It's not hard and you're able to, it's like um, falling down, uh, what DMT is, is a drug. And what it does that it forces you to go into this world, this whirlwind of dragging you into this crazy whacked out trip. And you have no control over it because what the drug is doing is that it's activating certain parts of the brain without your, without your, um, without your consent against your will. And so what that does is that the, conscious, the consciousness of the brain goes into a panic mode and it starts to overanalyze everything. That's why everybody trips out and goes crazy and, and loses their mind while on the drug because their brain is trying to make sense of every little thing so that it can have an anchor of logic and a foundation of logic while in this state of, 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 of insanity. That's what the trip is. That's the definition of what the trip is, is the brain trying to find logic. It's like someone going into your house and turning on all the switch lights and running around, turning on your laptop, and like you're trying to chase him down and trying to make sense of what's going on. That's the consciousness is you, and the other person is the drug going around activating all these parts of the brain without your consent, and there's no way to stop it. And so, what DM, what what DMT is that it drags you down, but you can create it like spelunking down the black hole without having to fall down the black hole, free fall. You could spelunk and observe this, these apparitions and these spiritual visions in a sane, consent-safe manner so that you can spelunk down this insanity and kind of control, go down lower and observe and learn of what your mind is trying to tell you. You're in total control, you're in a logical, you can write things down and you're able to come in and out of it, you know. And I'll try to talk about how to go DMT more easier, but one way is just to let your eyes kind of open and look at objects for five minutes and you start to see those glows. Let yourself get into a state of your own insanity. Let yourself go into your own state of your own craziness. Let your mind go into its own state of a, a fun, wacky idea because it, it, see clowns bouncing around from walls and stuff like that. Let your eyes open for two or three minutes, five minutes straight, and you'll start to see glowing orbs around things. And then at that certain state, while your eyes are starting to get into that state, let your mind go wild. And you start to see real future occurrences, things that can help you with your life, things that will help you help others, predictions, real predictions of problems, but you have to keep it up. You have to kickstart your own imagination, and over time, you'll be able to control it better without taking DMT and going really crazy. This Rick Cispedes, thank you guys for watching.